All right, folks, looks like I'm on my own today. Uh, it's just me. Uh, so I'm going to try to do this recording by myself. Um, today I'm doing another brisket. Um, it's been a couple months since I did my last brisket. Um, I'm going to try to do film every brisket I do just because brisket is, you know, it's the pinnacle of barbecue. Um, I'm by no means any kind of bar uh, barbecue expert or any kind of brisket expert. Uh, not, I, this is not like some kind of how-to video. <laughs> it's just, just me sharing how I do it, on my how I do on my brisket. And sometimes I fail, sometimes I do good, man. So let's just hope we do good today, man, because I can sure use a good brisket today. <laughs> all right, folks, um, I got my pit barrel cooker all fired up. So I'm going to go dump in the coal, and we're going to put the brisket on. So And today I am cooking with um, a mixture of hickory and cherry wood. So uh, let's go dump the coals in, and let's get the brisket on. and dump this in try not to burn the hell out of myself here all right folks she's on now um i'm gonna do my first brisket on the pit barrel cooker laying it just on the rack i've done a couple uh hanging them so we're gonna see how this does on the rack i don't know exactly how long this is gonna take um i do know that um i've said this before that with my um at least with my um, my experience with choice grade briskets, they don't do too well going a whole cook unwrapped. So I'm going to do this, I'm going to guess about five or six hours, and um, and then I'm going to wrap it up, and I'm going to finish it off in my oven. But uh, we'll see what happens. Hopefully this thing turns out good. I've had one fail so far on camera. I've had one, uh, I've had one victory on camera. So let's hope I can get another victory and get two out of three, folks. So uh, once again... Wish me luck. All right, folks. Uh, I'll see y'all back here in a couple hours, and we'll give it a spritz, and um, and uh, and then we'll go ahead and get it wrapped up and put it in the oven. All right, folks. We'll see y'all back here in a little bit. All right, folks. It's been two hours now. Um, right now, I'm tipping at 143 uh, internal temperature on the brisket, and I wanted to point out something to y'all. I don't know if anybody else is experiencing this. But um, ever since I've had my pit barrel cooker, uh, for the first few cooks, I thought it was just because I didn't have the uh, Weber chimney, or I'm sorry, the um, the the little small chimney to, to help you um, regulate the temperature. Usually, I used to do it with the um, with the uh, vegetable soaked oil. Well, every time I use this thing, man, it measures anywhere between 275 to 350 degrees. Um, I've heard most people say on the, on YouTube that theirs run about 275 to 310. Does anybody else go any higher than 310? Because mine's constantly at about 330 to 350 most of the time. Uh, I just I'm just wondering if anybody else is going through that. Um, please comment below and let me know just so if I know I'm a, if I'm alone or not. <laughs> but um, let's go ahead and take a look at the brisket and we're gonna take a spritz. Hold on one second, baby. Okay. That's what we're looking at after two after uh, two hours. Oh no! Don't worry, baby. The June bugs don't hurt, baby. My son is definitely scared of June bugs. I don't know why, but we're gonna go ahead and give this a spritz real quick. All right, baby. Let Daddy spritz this real quick, and then we're gonna go in the house, okay? So I'm gonna give this a good spritz. I'm probably gonna let this go for another three hours on the pit. And then I'll wrap it up and finish it in the oven. All right, folks. Uh, I'll see y'all back here in a couple hours. All right, folks. This is what we're looking like after uh, four hours. Um, so I, I decided to keep it on there for about four hours on the pit, uncovered. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up now and finish it off in the oven. And I noticed I forgot to mention that I um, just used uh, uh, salt and pepper, just a straight Texas rub on this. And I cooked it fat cap down, by the way, um, just because the heat is coming from the bottom. So I figured that would uh, actually help uh, protect the meat, the being fat cap being on bottom. But I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up. And then next time we all see me, we'll go ahead and cut into this and we'll see how we did. All right. I'll see y'all back here in a little bit. All right, folks, we're back. Um, it's been about five hours now. It's been on and it's been resting for about three hours. So we're going to go ahead and cut into this. 
And um, as you know, with a pit barrel cooker with the higher temps, it cooks at a lot faster temps than a normal than a normal smoker. But let's go ahead and cut into this and let's see how we did. Give me luck, baby girl. I mean, I did good. All right, folks, I'm going to try to make this as best I can. It's quarter slices, not quarter slices, what the hell, um, quarter inch slices, about, about uh, pencil width. Okay. Let's see how this does with the bend test. Well, not very bendy, Will. <laughs> Not very bendy, well. Yeah. Well, definitely not a. Uh, definitely what, what I'm, your idea slice of brisket supposed to look like. <laughs> Let's try this one. Yeah, it doesn't have very much bend to it. That's for sure. You know, I cooked this to 205 and took it out exactly at 205 and see how the pull test is. Yeah, it's still pretty tough right there. That's because briskets do better low and slow, in my opinion. Well, yeah, they, they do do better low and slow. This pit barrel cooker really isn't the best brisket maker in the world. It is a rib machine, but it's not a barbecue machine. Well, folks, looks like I'm going to have to call this one a fail. <laughs> this isn't my first fail, and it probably won't be my last fail. But um, as you can see... Got a nice little smoke ring on there though. Let me try the let me try the pull test on this one. Can you see that? It, it's it's pretty good the the pull test. It's just a little bit too tough for my opinion. But I'm gonna go ahead and bite into this. And see how it tastes. All right, folks, let's give it a bite. Excuse me. <laughs> I always try to talk too quick after I bite. <laughs> My mom gave me better manners than that, I promise. But yeah, folks, this is going to be classified as a fail. But the flavor, the flavor's all there, man. It tastes just like a wonderful smoked brisket. But um, I would have probably got a lot better results off my Weber, though. But um, listen, folks, I appreciate you watching today, man. Um, <laughs> y'all see me do my second brisket fill. I appreciate y'all hanging with me, man. Um, I do me a favor, like and subscribe, man. I know I failed today, but couldn't you still like and subscribe, man? Because that'd be really awesome. But I appreciate you folks watching, man. And uh, do me a favor, just uh, have a blessed day. Always keep it simple, and uh, we'll see you back next time. Y'all have a great day.